Hello, I am Andreas from Kemper. Today, I will give you some tips on 300 plus in the field. When the maize plants are wet or thin, or affected by corn borers, they can wrap around the tower and interrupt the crop flow. To remedy this, we have developed a new tower. Headers produced from model year 2022 are equipped with a new tower, and older machines can be retrofitted with it. To remove the tower, you must loosen the three screws. Additionally, triangular pieces called cleaners are needed and must be attached to the tower. Before tightening the screws, insert the loose M12 screw to align the cleaners. Push them towards the center, and then tighten the screws. Then place this new tower on top and attach it with the three M12 screws. With this tower, you will no longer have issues with corn wrapping around it and no longer have problems with crop flow interruption. If there is an issue where the crop flow is interrupted, you can install sheets to optimize the cross-feeding. This is also an adaptation to the newer header models. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to retrofit it on a drum. First, remove the round tubes we call cob catchers. Then, unscrew these two screws from the cover plate. Next, lay the sheet on and insert a bushing with a washer in between. All of this is also described in the installation manual. It is best to adjust it through this oblong hole in the center. Ensure that the plate is properly aligned with the cover, use the center position, and tighten the screws. You can now reattach the cob catchers. The sheet prevents plants from falling out in this area during harvesting long, green, and heavy plants and causing them to remain on the header. When the sheet is installed, you need to weld a stopper at the back to prevent material from accumulating under the plate and bending it. If you are dealing with down crop, very short or poor condition maize plants, you can remove the sheets and continue working. For the 360 plus and 375 plus, we have the option to attach the header flatter. This is done to improve plant transport into the machine and reduce losses when exiting the field. To do so, these parts at the top are replaced with new ones, which are then inserted on the left and right sides. To adjust the angle of the shift collar, the bracket is replaced one to one. Then, the feed plates need to be replaced. Remove the three screws from the longer feed plate and replace it with the shorter ones. We are now offering heavy duty blades that have double the lifespan and a modified tooth shape that provides better plant cutting. We are also offering heavy-duty skid shoes that can be easily swapped out one for one with the standard skids for a significantly longer lifespan. These can be purchased as a spare part.